The S7 micro memory card is in the PLC. Highlight the S7 300 CPU or below in the project tree. Select the PLC menu. Choose Save to Memory Card. This project does not have an HMI station. If it did have an HMI station, the project would be too large to store on the micro memory card. If you need help finding the blocks folder project size, see the video, How Big Is My Project? By default, two boxes are checked. The first one, current user program and in parentheses, including hardware configuration, has the caution on the right side that says the memory card will be completely deleted if current user program is selected. What this does is erases the micro memory card and re-downloads all the blocks folder data plus puts an archive of the current project on the micro memory card. This will require a CPU stop. We will uncheck this option. It is also possible to transfer files and documents using the lower part of this window and this is demonstrated in the video, Save Files and Documents to the MMC. Now only an archive of the current project will be added to the micro memory card. Click OK. Somatic Manager archives the project and transfers it to the S7 micro memory card. The download files to EEPROM memory card on the CPU window opens. During the transfer time, this window appears to be non-responsive, but be patient. After several minutes, the file may appear to transfer all at once. Let's go check the micro memory card. Click the Accessible Nodes button. Drop down to the Blocks folder. The archive is stored in a folder called Your Project Files. Highlight the folder Your Project Files in the left window to see the archive project in your right window. And that concludes this video.